Hey guys, today let's explore exist and not exist in Click. So I have this sample data set. Um, one is a list of products. I have around 10 products over here. And another is a, a mini fact uh, sales where I have um, seven products. Okay. So with the help of exist, I can uh, find out what values are already existing in the data model. And accordingly, I can either include or uh, exclude. Okay, so for example, so now now I have only seven records in the sales, right? I have seven products, whereas my uh, dimension has got ten. So I, with the help of exist, I can um, look into the product ID of sales and see how many products are there, and only for those set of products I can load the records in the product dimension. So I could see only seven there, so I can exclude eight, nine, ten. Or I could do the other way. So I can load only the record which doesn't exist in sales, right? So I, I can load only 8, 9, 10. So this applies for the entire data model, not just for these two tables. I could have any other table having a product ID, right? So as long as the name is same or unless you specify uh, the respective name, we can um, look up the value of product in the entire data model and uh, we can either include or exclude okay so let's <coughs> explore this with an example so i have this uh, sales where i got um, uh, seven products and here i have 10 right so now let me say in the where class where exists product id Okay, so that means it's going to compare this product ID with this product ID and look into the values and it's going to pull only the records which is already there. So this already exists in the data model and this table is going to be generated. So while it is generated, it's going to look up here and it's going to pull only those records which exist in the sales table, right? So I'm, this is going to pull only the seven records. So that's how they exist work. So exist product ID comma product ID. So since the names are same over here, having this or not is optional. Okay. So both are same. Having comma product ID or or just product ID, both are the same because automatically exist is going to look for similar names in my entire data model. Okay. So let's quickly reload this. So I could see my sales has got seven already, but now the pro all product is also having seven. Okay, so it has excluded the remaining three rows, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now if I say not exist, or let me quickly run through this example also. So this is uh, as we discussed, this is optional as long as the name is same. If the names are different, then it is mandatory to include that okay so let's quickly verify so we should still see the same result all product seven records okay so now let me say not exist so now we should get the remaining three records which is nothing but uh, product id 8 9 and 10 okay so I could see 8, 9, 10. And here it is 1, 2, 7. Okay. Now let me <coughs> introduce one more table. Let me take a copy of this. And let's load um, two records. let's say the product is 8 and 9 okay so here i will add an where class i'll use a match function if you remember our previous video we explored match so here i am using match to filter out couple of product ids so 8 comma 9 so 
so what it does is it's going to filter only the records of uh, product id 8 and 9 okay so this table will have only uh, product id 8 9 and this sales will have product id 1 to 7 which we know already so now when I, what i am saying is load only the record which doesn't exist in our entire data model so it's going to look into this product id this product id and finally it's going to load so ideally 1 to 7 exist here 8 to 9 exist here so only the row number 10 the product id 10 should be available here right that's how it should work let's quickly reload okay so here we could see 7 here we could see 8 9 10 but I don't see the final output okay so the reason is this table and this table looks similar if you remember our concatenation so it has uh, the implicit concatenation has happened it uh, it has uh, concatenated automatically since all the uh, column names are same so let me explicitly say no concatenate okay or or let me qualify it because even if though if i say no concatenate it's going to still associate all my fields right all are common over here so so let me qualify it i'll say qualify star okay so now i see all products only the product id 10 okay so here 8 and 9 here 1 to 7 excluding all i get only 10 here because we are saying not exist okay so this is going to check my entire data model for with similar name product id now instead of including all the tables if i want to hit a particular field right let's say this is 8 and 9 okay so let me rename this field as pid so this is the field which we are going to compare and this is the field from the current table okay so this column from the current table is going to be compared with this field from this table and we are totally ignoring this right so this is how the two parameter helps us when you are going to compare a specific field and ignore the rest of the product IDs in the data model. So now let's quickly reload this. So our all product should contain 1, 2, 10 excluding 8 and 9. Okay. So this PID has got 8 and 9 which is excluded. And we have got all the others even the one to seven which exist here right since <clears throat> we are not considering product underscore id so this is totally ignored only the pid is considered and that's why we see one to seven over here okay. so hope we are clear with the concept of exist and not exist please please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching